in the market for a new vacuum, I think you'll like this Bosch. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DP Shop Talk. And today we're taking a look at the Bosch Dust Extractor. Now this is the nine gallon model with the semi-auto filter clean. I've had this for about a year now and I've been really impressed with it. It's really uh, dramatically improved the dust extraction both in my shop and on site. Now just for an illustration, last year I did a uh, kitchen renovation uh, where I was renovating the cabinets and I had to do all the sanding and cutting and all the work right in the kitchen space because I wasn't able to do it outside. So I used the Bosch dust extractor hooked up to all the tools I was using and the client commented when I was done the job that the kitchen was left cleaner at the end than when I started. So that really kind of illustrates how, how effective this vacuum is in whatever environment you happen to be using it in. Now it's got some really cool features, uh, one of them being the power tool activation mode. Now the way that that works, you can plug a power tool into the socket in the front, you switch it into power tool activation mode, and now when you start up the power tool, the uh, vacuum senses the draw and it will automatically start the vacuum up. Now the vacuum will stay running for as long as the tool is running, and when it's done, when you shut the tool off, the vacuum will automatically power down about six or eight seconds afterwards, so it allows it time to uh, clear out any dust that's left in the hose. Another really cool feature is the filter cleaning. Now, as I mentioned, this is the semi-auto filter cleaning mode. So what that means, there's a, a switch on the side here that will switch that feature on or off, so it's either completely off or it's available to you when you need it. So if you switch that to the on position, what you're then able to do is either press this button or cut the suction off manually at the end of the hose. And what that will do, it'll activate the, uh, the internal mechanism and it'll send a reverse pulse of air through the filter. So it'll knock any dust or debris off the filter that, that has accumulated to give you the maximum suction power that you're looking for. So I just want to go over some of the uh, external and internal features here. Uh, a really handy feature on, on the outside is these bungee straps that will uh, keep the hose coiled up. Now that's really nice because you can package everything up into one nice neat package, uh, lift it, carry it in onto site or into your vehicle, whatever, whatever you happen to be doing. Uh, on the back here, there's a hook for the power cord so you can keep that neatly coiled up. And there's also uh, uh, holders for all your attachments and any vacuum accessories that you may have. Now the filter access, there's a hatch on the back here just below the motor. So the filter easily lifts out. If you wanna change the filter out or it needs to be cleaned, replaced, whatever, uh, whatever the need may be. Now this is the standard paper filter that comes with the vacuum. There's also a optional HEPA filter uh, that I use when I'm working in people's homes just for that extra protection. And when that filter is installed, uh, it makes the entire vacuum HEPA rated uh, and it meets the EPA requirements for lead abatement as well. Now to empty the vacuum out or to change the bag, Release the uh, clips on the side there. The entire head lifts off. And that gives you full access to, uh, to the inside of the vacuum. Now I use the reusable fleece bag, uh, which you can empty and, and continue to reuse. And I find it does a really good job at capturing the dust. I find that I don't use the filter cleaning feature just because the uh, the bag catches so much of the dust the filter really doesn't get dirty so you can take the filter or sorry take the uh, bag out empty it reinsert it or you can get uh, disposable bags as well depending on on what you're collecting now the vacuum has seals everywhere 
that uh, parts meet, so where the head meets the base, there's a rubber seal there. And also at the front of the vacuum where the hose goes in, there's also a foam seal and uh, a twist lock as well, which is a nice feature so that when you insert the hose, you twist, it locks, and it doesn't pull out. So if you're pulling the vacuum around by the hose, uh, that's a really good feature to have. So you can see here, I'm just doing a quick demonstration on the uh, dust collection in action. I have it connected up to my plunge router and just doing a typical plunge cut. And you can see there's no dust escaping uh, from the dust collection shroud. Now if I was using my shop vac like I used to do, you get a little bit more dust escaping because you just don't have that same suction power. Another really cool feature of the Bosch vacuum is the L-Box integration. So it simply clicks onto the top the same way as it would any other L-Box and uh, so that gives a secure connection. And it's really nice if you want to keep the tool that you happen to be using close at hand and where it rolls, it kind of gives you a mobile uh, workstation as well. So another really great feature of this vacuum. One of the factors uh, in addition to the L-Box integration that was uh, helped me make the purchase decision for the Bosch back was how easily it integrates into uh, a lot of the Bosch tools. Now, the power tool adapter will lock onto the, uh, the tool port and then you can easily remove the hose from the end of the power tool adapter. Now the vacuum comes with one of these as standard. I've bought two, or sorry, purchased a second one uh, so that I can quickly and easily switch the hose between tools. So say I have the jigsaw and the sander going on a project uh, building some cabinets, then I can switch that back and forth without having to, to actually take the end off of the tool which is a little bit more of, of a job just because it does lock on pretty solid. That, that ribbed connection there makes it so it doesn't pull off, which is nice because I remember with uh, with a shop vac set up in years past and some of the older tools, you'd have to wrap things in tape and it was just a nuisance because they were always coming apart. So with this, it gives you a secure connection and you can quickly switch between them. Now, it'll also fit uh, into any 35 millimeter standard dust port, so say my Makita track saw. That will also give you a secure connection in there. It's a nice friction fit and the rubber is, is quite grippy. So, uh, so that's a really nice feature just for, for not worrying about uh, the connection to the tool. Another advantage of the Bosch is the sound. Now it's quite a bit quieter than your typical shop vac, which is really nice when you're working a lot in, in the shop or on site, just having that lower noise level. So here's a quick demonstration between the two. So as you can hear, the Bosch is quite a bit quieter and it's just overall a much more refined machine. So now for the ratings. Uh, for quality, I'm giving this five stars. Uh, it's really built well. I mean, the, the plastics are a thick and durable plastic. Um, I don't feel like it's going to crack if, if it gets bumped or knocked. And I think it's really going to last for the long haul. Uh, performance, I'm giving it five stars as well with 150 CFMs of uh, airflow. It's really effective at, at getting the dust right at the source, no matter which tool you're using. Uh, that, that extra power really does a good job of, of keeping your workspace clean and healthy. Design, I'm giving it a five star rating as well. Uh, it's, it's really well thought out as far as, uh, especially with the L-Box integration, as we mentioned, uh, if you're into the Bosch lineup at all, it's really a nice feature to have that. I mean, whatever tool you're using at the time, that can be kept right there so it's close at hand and, uh, and it'll roll around with the vacuum. So it kind of makes a, a portable workstation out of it uh, with, with that. Uh, value, I'm going to give it a four star rating just because it doesn't come standard with the uh, the HEPA filter and the anti-static hose which some of the competition does so just for the, the price point of it it would be nice to see uh, some of those things included with the vacuum. So for an overall DP tool score of four and three quarter stars it's an excellent excellent vacuum 
if you're looking for something either in the shop, on site, or both, which is what I use it for, uh, it's a really, really effective tool, keeping your workspace cleaner and most of all healthier. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave some comments at the bottom. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.